been a busy week in the news department. I, I really didn't know which one to necessarily go with. There's there's what's going on in Jersey, where what used to be an infestation of guidos is now just an infestation of over a hundred chickens just roaming the streets and attacking people. I thought that was a good story. Or the guy in Alabama who probably is really from Florida because this story makes more sense being uh, a Florida story as opposed to an Alabama story. This drug guy got in trouble, uh, well, for, for drugs and, and theft and all this other stuff, but he had an attack squirrel. Kind of like the fake news story from, you know, a few weeks ago where the lady went and trained her squirrels to attack her ex-boyfriend. Or that guy who thought he was a squirrel. It's just how he identified. Well, today's news story was about this guy who trained his squirrel by giving it meth to attack people. That sounds like fun. But the story that I went with is actually coming out of North Carolina. Hardee's, or Carl's Jr., just depends on uh, where you're from, is kind of in a world of trouble right now after this guy goes and gets a breakfast platter. And he gets, he gets shorted on his hash browns. He thinks it's because of the color of his skin. Apparently, if you're black in North Carolina, you don't get all 12 hash browns. At least that's what he thought, that he counted roughly about 12 on the company's website showing off his breakfast. So Tommy Martin said that he left the restaurant teary-eyed, uh, went and talked to the uh, employee and said, hey, I got shorted, whereas uh, the manager came up and said, that's all you get. Um, of course, granted, that's just one side of the story. Who knows? This man was causing a scene, but um, there is a lawsuit now about uh, Mr. Martin suing Hardee's, saying that uh, he got shorted. This is kind of a serious deal, being shorted hash browns, I'd probably burn the place down. No, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I mean, if I got 10 hash browns instead of about 12, as he puts it, that you see on the picture on the website, yeah, it is what it is. But, sadly, now he says, now uh, Mr. Martin says he no longer feels uh, comfortable eating in public. What are you going to do? Just go out, get your food, go straight home, hide in a closet and eat? I think that's just plain silly. And personally, if you can't man up to the fact that you got short of just a little bit, regardless of the color of your skin, and to be honest, I think I got shorted like five fries once at McDonald's. I think it's because they saw that I looked fat and they thought it was maybe in their best interest to just short me those five so maybe I didn't get fatter. But I didn't make a stink about it. Probably could have and walked up to the counter and stuck out my hand and they stuck five cold fries in my hand. For all I know, they have also could have been at the bottom of the bag where most of the fries usually do hide. But I still don't throw a fit and I still wouldn't sue the company. And I also um, would still feel comfortable to eat in public because, like, who cares? But some people's kids. Just remember, drugs are bad. And who cares if you get shorted a couple hash browns or fries or anything else? That's life. Maybe next time he goes there, he'll get 14 hash browns made up for the other two that he got shorted from before, plus a bonus two. Who knows? 
It's just sad, the world we live in today. So, if you're one of those people that uh, can't suck it up, buttercup, well, sorry if I offended you. For those of you who can man up, keep up the good work. Maybe tell a friend. Maybe they can uh, watch this video and learn how to man up and just take one. Yeah? So with that being said, thanks for watching. Give me a thumb up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And share because sharing is caring. We'll see you later. Bye.